Wow, I, uh, I really wasn't expecting the win. Um, I have so many people to thank for this. Uh, I brought a list. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank my mom and dad, and of course the big cheese himself, uh, Mickey Mouse. Howdy everyone, I'm Scott Davis, a marketing professor at UH Downtown. Today I want to share a brief lesson that I hope will help you create or contribute to an amazing service culture. On LinkedIn this week, Ariel Margolis asked, what was your first job? Well, my first job, my first real job, my first W-2 generating job was an internship at Walt Disney World. I joined the 1999 college internship program with a role as Merchantainer, which is Disney ease for being a cashier. Ariel went on to ask me what I remembered from that internship. One thing, or seven things that stand out, were Disney's guidelines for guest service. 20 years after my internship, I still remember these guidelines. I even talk about them in my classes. Variability of frontline staff performances can create a lot of problems for service companies. What do people remember after a service encounter? Human interactions. Now Disney is an exemplar in reducing that variability across a huge population of employees or cast members as they say. Service excellence is stitched beautifully and intentionally into the fabric of the Disney culture. If you're a cast member, you can't help but deliver. Walt Disney World's seven guest service guidelines, the ones every cast member knew by heart when I worked there, are memorable. Disney uses the seven dwarves, characters everyone already knows, as a mnemonic device. Number one, be happy. Make eye contact and smile. Number two, be like Sneezy. <laughs> Greet and welcome every guest. This link was admittedly a bit of a stretch because hospitality is contagious. Kind of gross when you think about it, actually. <laughs> Number three, don't be bashful. Seek out guest contact. Number four, be like Doc. Provide immediate service recovery. We had a lot of autonomy to make things right for our guests. Number five, don't be grumpy. <laughs> Always display appropriate body language. We even had a mirror before we went on stage to make sure we looked the part. Number six, be like Sleepy. Create dreams and preserve the magical guest experience. Number seven, don't be dopey. Thank each and every guest. I eventually learned to do that in many different languages. Well, there they are. And my hope for you is that you can think of a way to make your values memorable to your staff. Beyond just a mnemonic device, these guidelines are memorable because we lived them every day as cast members. And maybe that's too corny, but we really did. I even won this award for Cast Member of the Month at Disney's Animal Kingdom, uh, the first intern to ever win the award, so it was really special for me. Um, maybe I won it because I was always sleepy, who knows? But thank you and have a magical day.